A box with a square base and open top must have a volume of 42,592 cubic centimeters. We want to find the dimensions of the box that will minimize the amount of material used, which means we want to minimize the surface area of the box. Looking at our diagram, since our box has a square base, the length of this edge and this edge would be the same. So if we label this x, this would also be x. Let's go and label the height of the box y. Since the volume of a box is equal to the length times the width times the height, the volume of this box would be x times x times y, or x squared y. So we know that v must equal x squared y, which in this case must be 42,592 cubic centimeters. Because this equation must be true, we call this the constraint. Now we also need an equation for the surface area so that we can minimize that equation. The surface area would be the sum of the area of each face, and since our box has an open top, our box has five faces, the bottom and the four sides. Well, the area of the bottom would be x times x, or x squared, and then notice that the area of each face would be x times y, and since there's four of them, we have plus four xy. This is the equation that we want to minimize. But to do this, we need to write s in terms of one variable, and right now it's written in terms of x and y. So if we solve the constraint for y, we can perform a substitution for y in the surface area formula, and then we'll have s in terms of x. So looking at our volume formula, or our constraint, if we solve this equation for y, we would divide both sides by x squared. Therefore, y is equal to 42,000, 592 divided by x squared. So we can replace y in the surface area formula with this quotient. So we'd have s equals x squared plus 4x times this quotient here, 42,592 divided by x squared. Let's go ahead and simplify this. If we take a look at the x's, one factor of x will simplify out. This would simplify to one. This would simplify to x to the first. And four times 42,592 is 170,368. And if you move this x to the first up to the numerator, it would be x to the power of negative one. Now to minimize this, we'll use calculus techniques so we'll find the first derivative, determine where it's undefined or equal to zero, to find our critical numbers. So s prime is going to be equal to two x. Here we're going to multiply by negative one, so we'll have negative 170,368. Subtract one from the exponent, that will give us x to the power of negative two. We want to know when this is equal to zero or undefined. Let's go ahead and write this as two x minus 170,000 368 divided by x to the second equals zero. Notice how this would be undefined when x equals zero, but x can't equal zero, otherwise this length here would be zero. So let's go ahead and solve this equation for x on the next slide. Let's go ahead and clear the fraction by multiplying both sides of the equation by x squared. So we'd have two x to the third Notice here the x squared would simplify out, so we have minus 170,368 equals zero. Let's go ahead and isolate x cubed, so we'll add this constant to both sides. Divide both sides by two. So we have x cubed equals 85,184. And now we'll cube root both sides in order to solve for x. This comes out nicely to x equals 44. So we only have one critical number, so we probably would be correct to assume this x value will minimize the surface area formula. To be completely sure, let's go ahead and use the second derivative test. Remember the first derivative was equal to two x minus 170,368 x to the power of negative one. 
So now we'll find the second derivative, then determine the sign of the second derivative when x equals 44. The derivative of two x would just be two. The derivative of the second term, we're going to multiply by negative one, so it's going to be plus 170,368. Subtract one from the exponent, that'd be a negative two, which we can also write as two plus 170,368 divided by x squared. Notice if we substitute 44 for x into the second derivative, this would be positive. So if the second derivative is positive, that means the function is concave up at x equals 44, and therefore at x equals 44, we must have a minimum value. So this does verify that the surface area formula is minimized when x equals 44. So if we go back and look at our figure for a moment, our goal is to find the dimensions of the box that will minimize the surface area. So we know our box must be 44 centimeters by 44 centimeters by y centimeters. So we still have to find the value of y, and we can find y using this equation here. y is equal to 42,592 divided by x squared when x is 44. We already found this value, y is equal to 22. So to answer the questions, the dimensions of the box that would minimize the surface area with a volume of 42,592 cubic centimeters would be 44 centimeters by 44 centimeters by 22 centimeters. To verify this, let's take a look at the graph of the surface area formula once we had it in terms of x. Here's the surface area formula that we used. Notice if we graph this, here's the location of a minimum value for the surface area. Notice the x value does appear to be 44. Notice the y value would actually be what that minimum surface area would be. So let's go ahead and substitute 44 for x to verify that this surface area is less than 6,000 cubic centimeters. We weren't actually asked to find this, but the surface area of that box would be equal to x squared plus 170,368 divided by x. So if x is equal to 44, this value comes out to 5,808 cubic centimeters, which again is verified by our graph. Hope you found this explanation helpful.